welcome to Kate's Egg. Right now I'm sitting in the combine with Trevor. We've just finished our last winter wheat field, actually. Very last one. Wow, wow. It looked kind of fast. It did. We're excellent combine drivers, that's why. True, true. Very efficient. Yes, so. absolutely. Yeah. That's what makes the difference. So now, we're going to help kind of custom combine his field, which will be nice. Yeah. That was, we weren't supposed to do that, right? That no. Was a yeah. And it was the guy that came over while we were eating lunch. Yes. Yeah. That was kind of a neat thing. I like that. I like that a lot. It's kind of how things happen in Montana. Has anything interesting happened today? It's pretty early in the day still. I don't know. Not a lot of time for stuff interesting to happen. Right. I'm going to have you pull your combine in. Face more north. It's more north than it is northwest. Close the door. And just Traps out. Do you think there were there any rocks in the last ones? No. I hardly none of them. No. I didn't see any rocks. And no rocks in mine. In any of them. I thought there'd be rocks in yours, Kate. No, I don't drive over rocks. A couple big ones in this field. Oh yeah. My brother's got this fancy rock picker. I haven't had any time to play with it yet. Probably. Gonna go on its track. See, if you stay up wind of this, Kate, is the idea of this. You know, okay. you think about wind like piloting and flying. Yeah. What's the story here? No rocks? I don't see any. Do you? No. Going to where we're gonna help the neighbors, okay? We are now roading to the next field. Winter wheat harvest is officially over. But we're going to help our neighbor out with his. There's a water spigot here, so I've got to kind of move around. We figured out what this lever I'm stepping on does. Ooh, this is kind of fun. And see, now it's locked. Very fun. So we've got the combines parked in the field. Now we're going to go and get vehicles. We're going back up to that other field. Now I'm with that. I could take the drone in the tractor, though. Now I'm but with I need the phone, too. Interrupting Kate's egg content. Yes. Now I'm with Dad and Jim in the pickup, and we're heading back to the field to get some vehicles. This is actually a pretty good farm road. Yeah. yeah. Are you excited to try the neighbor's field? Yeah. We'll see, see how much how good it is. They say it's good, so we'll, we'll see. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm the one that's excited. And we have such great neighbors too, so it's always nice if we can help them out. Yeah, yep. I mean, good neighbors are everything, really. Uh, it's hard to operate without good neighbors. They really what, are. What do they say in cowboy land though, Jim? Isn't it good fences make good neighbors? Yeah, yeah definitely. We sure do. Good <laughs> fences? Right. So if you've got some livestock, if you've got a good fence, and your livestock never gets out into their, into their land, okay. then you never have anything to fight about. Right. So, well, I suppose that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. And all our neighbors out here have been neighbors for generations. Yep. Since the homestead days. So that's also kind of cool to, to see their kids grow up and then on the farm. That's fortunately none of them. Because there is there are just a handful of people. That's right. Just less and less young people getting into agriculture all the time. Yeah. Which is very sad. Scary. If That's you look at the right. old homestead map grandpa has, it has just tons and tons of families and you can only pick out a few who are still left. Yep. Out of hundreds. What's this crop next to us? That's kind of what I thought that was. Trevor was asking about it last time. They're chickpeas, but they didn't grow very tall. I wouldn't want to have to cut them. What do you think, Jim? I don't know. I want to I try think a flex some kind of peas. They are, but they are short. They're right. almost as bad yeah. as lentils. You know, but they are. I don't know what they are. I really want to try a flex header out. But our custom combine crew isn't providing that this year. A what? A flex header. Oh. 
We just finished with lunch and now I'm heading back in the combine with my trusty Kate's egg tote bag. My dad just finished his first dump. He had to pull out of his wheat swath because he's the first row around this field. We've just finished getting all of the passes around the grain bins and I saw this cute little bunny. He was just adorable and he ran out of my dad's wheat swath so that was a pretty cool experience. Now because this wheat is heavy we're going to unload pretty early here so I'm going to put my auger out and Lucas will kind of drive into the wheat swath. My dad had to completely back up out of his row into the middle part so that the grain cart had room to get by. That's pretty typical on fields. I've had to do that as well when you're the first combine. Getting a little chilly in the cab. Wow, I could have nearly plugged it up there. Wheat was back feeding over the auger. I'm wearing my Kate's Egg shirt that's both grown and made in the USA. As you can see, it has the logo on the sidearm. I have one on the left chest as well, and they are back in stock. So I know that the sizing went out almost immediately when I launched them. They have a QR code in the back of them so that you can scan it with your phone and see the cotton farmer who produced the cotton for the shirt as well as every other process this shirt went through so you know exactly who you're supporting. They're all generational family operations within the US which is a really neat thing. So just like my family farms, other people have been doing the sewing for years as well. This is a pretty good unload on the go right now. Lucas is doing a good job with this one. Now I've just finished the unload, so I'm going to stop the grain and put my auger back. I just slowed my combine down yet again because I had more grain back feeding. What back feeding means is when it comes back around the auger for a second go, so it didn't get sucked into the combine, it just got spun around basically. And that's never a good thing because it means that the combine is processing too much grain at once, so it can't take all of it in. If you're going to dump the other units, you might want to go turn around, like go, go around this road. You should be able to get to everybody and not have to drive on any roads, Lucas. Don't drive on any roads. This isn't mine. Is your road as thick as this thing is here, okay, or what? Like, you should turn around, Lucas, and come, come dump it here. Yes, you gotta dump all three combines, then go to the trucks, get dumped, and come find us again. Yeah, mine's pretty thick here, but did he use a bigger swather than us? No, oh, it's the same size. Really? Dad was saying to me on the radio that we should be planting some of this wheat next year, but then everything may have been right for it as well. It got rain at the right time, it was seeded at the right time, got rain at the right time, it's just a really good crop. We've also had some really good fields that have been yielding this, but none with as thick of looking swaths as this one. We've had just a lot of wheat heads in the swath. That's a little bit smaller. This pass to the right of you is going the wrong way, so I'm just gonna take another one headed down. Take that very inside one gate that comes across so it opens up them things, okay? Okay, I see. It's like a little half pass. Now I'm taking this one pass that goes all the way to the east end of the field. I didn't realize there was another pass because this starts a bit further up. Lucas, are you headed this way? I can't hear you very good. Why was that? Are you headed this way? You ought to be up here about right now because I'm just full. Right I'm behind you. Yeah, Daddy's been right behind you for a little bit. Okay. It's funny how you're full already. I'm not even into the windows yet. Should I just start on the uh, back and forth? Because this thing's going the wrong way. I just want the end. Yeah, go ahead. Just, just start peeling from that end. We'll, we'll be there as soon as we can. As soon as we get these end passes done. Alright. This field looks like it only has two passes all the way around. That's why I had to go slow case. There was a lot of stuff in that room. Yeah, I can see that because my row's not even nearly a comparison. I mean, I'm getting okay readings, still like 30 bushel, but that's about it. I'm getting the same bushel per acre readings in these massive swaths as you got in like your tinier ones. Roading to the other end of the field because there's not another pass headed back for me to take. And I'll start on the up and down ones with Trevor. And when my dad finishes his pass right here, he'll also on the up and down ones as well. Look how straight that kid swath by hand, Kate. Maybe he's got a GPS thing, it's that kind of straight. He's almost got to have a GPS, it's super straight. The farmer whose field we're combining, his son swapped this, which is really cool, and he was saying that his son's maybe thinking of getting into farming, so it's really cool to see. He's done a fantastic job swapping 
it all the way up, then we're good. Well, you can hold more than us, but I think we might be able to make it. I got an oil check light that came on in my combine, so I had to immediately stop and my dad's come over to check the oil for me and see if we need to add more. The clip I just showed you shows that the oil is low in my combine. It really should be checked every day, so it didn't even appear on the stick, which is a very bad thing. I'm driving right Wrong now. Outside the bend, okay? go, go to the south, to the right, to the right. So because the oil isn't even on the stick, I think that that's probably what's causing these errors in the monitor and all the beeps I'm hearing. So I've idled my combine down and I'll see when my dad wants me to shut it off. We brought it over to the service truck right here. I'll go ahead and shut it down. I can carry one up. What kind of oil do they take? Oh, I didn't know diesel and gas have different types of oil. Hold it just like this. So. Do they use a lot of oil? Is it like a synthetic blend? No. We change it too much. It's too, too expensive. Game. Do you do ever do full oil changes on them? Yeah, every every time, like hours. Okay, don't tip this. I want you to hold this at that angle so I can check that out. None still coming on it, is it? Not that I'm seeing. Now you need to hold that again. How many um, gallons does it hold? Like 15. Oh, wow. This is my first time ever changing a combine's oil. Don't spill it. You know, just hold it. Is that normal? Again, for a minute. You got to make sure it stays in there. Okay? All right. Goes far off. How many gallons did you just put in? Two and a half. So this is where you check the combine's oil right here, and this is where you add more. This is the type of oil we're putting in it. Heavy duty diesel engine, super lube, 15W40. Gosh, I can't even imagine what could have happened if we were running on no oil. So here's our white service truck that my dad's getting more oil from. Does it use like a gallon a day? So that it probably didn't have any oil last night either. Not, no, but I wasn't knowing the thing you were getting. Well, I, yeah, obviously it didn't say low oil. It just said whatever else. Hi. Good, there was just no oil in the combine. No? Yeah, no oil. I put in three and a half gallons. Yeah. I'm, yeah, that's a lot. It's a gallon mark on, on diesels. So we're going to... Guess we ain't doing that. Well, you mean throw this over the side? Yeah, but I need you to do the same with this so I can pour it out down below. I can. I wonder if Jim got any of those airs. Does it show now? Well, I hope it does. Is it bad to fill it up? No, it's just I, I don't have any more oil. Right now. Nope, come on. Oh, did we put everything we got in it? I don't know that, Kate. I didn't look around forever in there. Pissed off. They should have checked this. We added just enough oil to get it to the low mark. And we'll definitely need more oil for it tomorrow. Well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.